Woke up, it's a beautiful day. Got a fresh pair of J's and I'm out to get paid. Came from the bottom, gotta find a new way. And I think it's gonna start today. Hey, when life get crazy and shit be going wrong, I take the time out to put words. In All right, so we finally got one of the most anticipated boxing matches of the year about to pop off this weekend. And you know that's the Lucas Matisse, Ruslan, Bavadnikov fight. You know, two hard-hitting sluggers, great punchers. You know, they make for good fights for the most part. And now they combining those two forces together to make one ultimate kick-ass fight. And, you know, I'm real excited with this shit. But truthfully... I really don't have much to say about this matchup. You know, I just want to see a good fucking fight, man. Um, as far as um, really trying to break it down, Matisse, you know, he's a a, a puncher. Uh, Provodnikov is a puncher. Matisse has a little more technique with his punching. His punches are a lot straighter. Footwork is worse. Like he doesn't really have that boxing footwork. He moves around. He overextends himself when he punches. He looks kind of clumsy sometimes if he's going against a guy with good footwork. And he's not one of these guys that uh, throws big, wide, looping punches. But he still gets off balance a lot. I think Molina cracked his chin a bit in that fight too. So I don't know if his punch resistance is a. Uh, went down a little bit or that was just an off night but he didn't look all that great to me in that fight i think he struggled a little too much with him i believe botnikov is a much harder puncher than john molina so you know it's just a lot of variables with this fight i think matisse has been hit by harder punchers than provotnikov has so we can't really say who has the better chin or not because it all comes down to who could take the opponent's punch better. You can have the greatest chin, but if you fight somebody who allegedly has no power and he's able to hurt you, that shit don't mean anything at the end of the day. So with that said, I'm leaning towards Ruslan Pavadnikov. Um, and I don't know, it's one of those fights where, like, if you look back at the first Guardian Ward fight, when that fight was coming up, you knew it was going to be a good fight. You were more concerned about how good the fight was going to be instead of who was going to win it. Like you knew Gotti might be the little slight favorite, but if somebody was going to say Ward was going to win that first fight, you wouldn't really argue it. You know what I mean, and that's how I feel about this fight. I think their defense is both flawed. Neither guy likes movers. Sometimes either guy, you know, they kind of fuck up their own game plan. Like Provodnikov not listening to Roach and going to the body against Algeri. Uh, Matisse not being able to cut the ring off on Zab, Alexander, Garcia, shit. Um, you know, they both got their flaws, but, you know, they, they're good B-level fighters and, you know, that makes for good close fights and I think we're gonna get a highly entertaining fight back and forth a whole bunch of uh, momentum swings but I'm going for providing the cost by late KO I just think he's the stronger harder punching accurate fighter I think his offense just runs off a little more fluid I like how he can counter over your right and he showed decent boxing ability, well both of them have, but they're one dimensional one dimensional in that aspect where they're like this seek and destroy type of fighter. Uh, Matisse used to start out slower, but now he's jumping on guys aggressively. Uh, Provodnikov, you could beat him, but he takes you through hell to do it. You know, it's just, just a great fucking fight. That's all I got to say on uh, but Provodnikov by late KO. I think he just... A smidgen better with the punch and I think his defense is a little better as far as keeping his hands up but it's one of those fights it's a toss-up man it's a real fucking toss-up I we could talk about this one all day and you know you might change your mind but I'm sticking with Provodnikov in this fight 
As far as the uh, the second fight on here, which I think is gonna be a good fucking fight, uh, Terrence Crawford, you know, Crawford Cartel against uh, Delorme. I think that's a good uh, fight, you know, with uh, two boxer punchers. Delorme is just one of those guys where he's like a front runner, a boxer puncher. You know, he has all the attributes you would like in a fighter. You know, length, speed, height, you know, power, but. His chin, he's not really that durable, and you know, he kind of fades, his stamina isn't the best. And I feel like if you could pressure him good, you could get him uncomfortable and make him crack. Um, I'm trying to remember who's the guy who, who did that. Uh, I think Abreu did that. And I know Delorme had a fight with uh, Hank Lundy not too long ago, and to a certain extent, Lundy was able to do that. So that's what I think Crawford's gonna do. He's just an overall better fighter, better boxer. And even though he starts off slow sometimes, he always knows how to pick it up. And he's not one of these guys that just outbox you and just throw a couple jabs and move a little and say they outboxing you. He really is consistent with his offense. He's always peppering you while he's moving. And he mixes in his power shots well. So I think he's just going to put on a, a, a good, solid performance. Um, he might get dropped. He might get buzzed by Delorme. Delorme, Delorme could scrap now. You know, he's no scrub, you know. But I don't think he's in Crawford's class. Crawford has a higher ceiling. Like, Crawford, he's basically knocking on the door of being an elite A-class fighter. Where, whereas Delorme, he's more of a... C plus B minus type of fighter, but it's all about who does what they do best better on the fight night And I think Crawford is gonna just walk away with this fight. It is gonna be good though. He's gonna earn it So I think Crawford by by late stoppage. I think Crawford to take him out of there Delorme and uh, I apologize if I'm not pronouncing his name correctly. I'm you know, I'm doing my best my nigga, but um but Delorme he just He's not the most durable cat in the ring. You know, he's one of those guys who just, he looks great when things are going his way and he's fighting at his pace. But then he looks too shaky when things start heating up. And I think that's going to come back to haunt him. So right now, I'm um, just close this off with Provodnikov by late KO and uh, Terrence Crawford by late KO. We're going to have a great night of boxing. I really think, you know, we're going to get some good scraps that night. So, uh... Swag Science, Hood All-Stars, I'm out.